famous? Anna? Wanna be famous? I'll put you on YouTube. Anna. Is that okay? It's okay. What's your name? Huh? What's your name? Martin. Marcos? Martin. Martin. Like Martin Luther King. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I'll put you on YouTube, okay? You're gonna be world famous. Everybody's gonna watch you. Huh? I'm gonna send you the video. Uh, Alright. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Shit, yeah. sure, this is steep. Not steep, but it's dangerous because it's got the. This fucking thing that went out of business again. Protex, I hate you. <laughs> Protex. I have to resheat it, the whole thing. I have to fix all the damage wood. On this side is kind of flat, but I have to fix all the damage wood and then this one has to finish and refinish them with a uh, coating, roof coating. Today I'm using my old shoes. I'm working on a 10 and 12 uh, slope roof, putting plywood as we go. And uh, I'm using my. This is how steep it is. See the slope? It's barely walkable. And I'm here. All right, no hardness. You see my shadow? I'm blowing the roof, but when you buy shoes, buy something that's uh, not slippery, so that way you can, I can step on this little dormant right here, and then just, I'm gonna roof it probably like on Tuesday, when you start in plywood. Mauro and that's the garage and this is a house we started this morning I just yesterday we just did this little thing right here it's not nailed yet nailed down so
¿Te puedo tomar una foto, Alberto? Ok. No, está bien así porque... This is how I modify the uh, the dormers on top. They have a roof metal on the underneath. So what I did, I put a, a SA mid ply. I primer it and then I I install a SA uh, mid ply on top of it and then I install a SA cap sheet on top of it. So it has like two layers on top of the metal. So this thing is not going anywhere. In case if it leaks, maybe in 40 years, you gotta go through the. Uh, two members on top but still it has a metal on the bottom so I think uh, the lady has a better system now all right and this is the roof I already did the, uh, the reach on that side and then uh, tomorrow I'll come and and do the, the rest of it I'm just gonna do the reach on this side and paint pipes and silicone cocking stuff like that and that's it Done. You see my wood batting around uh, along the valley. That's what I used to cut my my shingles. You know, all the way down there. All right. So I use them to cut a straight uh, straight line on my. Since the presidential is a thick uh, shingle, so you cannot cut it that easy. So you have to have some support underneath to me to be able to cut it in one shot so this is the was an idea for one of my friends he was cutting a slate and he showed me how to do it so i used it for presidential so it's an idea that you get from somebody else all right bye bye what's up guys this is eric again i'm done today was the the last day i came to uh cut all the pipes paint them some detail, some Z-bar, counter flashing. And the color is shown right here, it's country gray, uh, presidential 50 year. This is the garage, that's the garage over there. This one right here is the house. I installed a cap sheet on top of the little dormers right here. I couldn't install presidential because it doesn't have the slope, it was gonna look ugly, so it's better to leave it like this. This is my open belly. Mm. Remember, uh, I've seen some guys, they do uh, presidential and then they do the close cut belly. It uh, looks ugly, man. This is the lower section on the bottom. This is little pieces that really killed me yesterday. My you know, ankles hurt and this little one and then this little one. And then this one was the easiest one. 
Okay, remember, presidential is not a uh, dimensional shingle. Okay, you gotta be careful mm -hmm. when you let somebody install the shingles on your house. Make sure he knows how to install them. You know how to install them properly. Otherwise, you're gonna have problems. All right. So, homeowners, be careful. Be aware. All right. Uh, greetings to all my subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. And this video is dedicated to Diane Cassidy. She told me to, to upload a video on YouTube and make her house uh, world famous. So it's going to be famous. <laughs> like a famous star. Anyway, uh, thank you, uh, everybody, for subscribing. And thank you for your comments. Uh, everybody really helps me out. You know, when you do your comments, sometimes you know you teach me new things. You know, I read all the comments. Uh, Sometimes I cannot reply, but, you know, I'm always read them. I'm always on the field, but always when I get home, that's my hobby, you know. I go out to my videos, I, uh, you know, edit them and uploading. I don't use, like, expensive stuff, you know why? The reason is I don't use expensive stuff, drones and stuff like that, because when I do a roof, you're seeing through my eyes. You know, I take you to steps and steps with me along, along with the roof, you know. And then, so you're seeing what I see. It's not worth it for me just to take an aerial view and then show you, you know. No, I'm the one who does the roof. I'm the one who gets up on the roof with the guys. I'm not. I'm the salesman. I'm the estimator. I'm everything, okay? All right, guys. See you. Más o menos.